All right, guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two reviews that we're gonna be doing today, and it is going to be Martinez and Carlos Vela. So we're gonna start off with Carlos Vela first, and then we're gonna basically just take it from there, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, with Carlos Vela's car, we're taking a look at a car that is five foot 10 with high low work rates left footed with four star skills and a three star weak foot right in regards to the traits this card has he does have the outside foot shot traits he has the flare traits finesse shot trait leadership not crazy important so we'll just move on from there so all the traits that will compensate for the fact that of you know of him not having the four star weak foot is completely fine with me i'm totally cool with that in regards to attributes guys he has 96 acceleration with 96 sprint speed for base card stats that's obviously very very good you don't necessarily need to improve that he has 99 attacking positioning with 99 finishing and 89 shot power with the basic chemistry style you'll be boosting the shot power, shot power by uh, a plus five making it 94 which is great passing stats are very very good from base uh from base card stats as well short passing long passing curve vision crossing all that looks really good in regards to dribbling i mean like look at his stat look at his stats like if i have to give a sniper to this guy i will stop playing this game entirely just screw the content i'm done okay no but he should move really well in game because i used to use his um I think I tried out someone's like I think he was like a player of the month or something. I can't for, I can't remember what it was, and I was like, oh, okay, good. His base card stats for dribbling is pretty solid. So obviously, with this card being the team of the season, it should be significantly better. Um, but 94, 94 for balance and agility, as well as all the other three main dribbling stats like reactions, ball control, and dribbling, all have very good stats. With the 96 composure, it should be very nice. Now he has 93 stamina as well, which is fantastic. You know, call, it just it's a nice balance because I expect him to be an aggressive attacker, right? Because of the high low work rates that he has. So the stamina is important. If he had 80, 86 stamina, it would bother the hell out of me, right? He has 85 strength. The basic chemistry style gives him another plus five as well. The basic chem uh, chemistry style actually looks like a good chem style to give him. I wouldn't necessarily give him anything else, to be honest with you, because everything that he requires, he gets with this chemistry style. So pretty nice in regards to that. Um, I do want to use him strictly in the right cam position now. You know, with him being a five foot ten player, high low work rates, he could potentially make a really good striker as well because they actually gave him some physical attributes as well. Um, he could make a really really good cam. I personally would never use the card in the left attacking position. I would question my integrity if I did, just because players like this really benefit from cutting inside. You know, if, if they he better have that off the ball moment where he gets on the inside um, because of the trait that he has. That finesse shot trait is massive, right? I feel like personally it's going to be mostly ideal in the cam spot and on the sides. But because he has the high-low work rates, it's probably going to most likely make more sense on the sides. So, I'm kind of excited to try out this card because Carlos Vela was really, really hyped last year. All right? And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun to try him out. So, the way that we are going to be trying out the team is going to look like this. Typical 4-2-3-1 instructions that we normally use with Carlos Vela playing in the right attacking position just on the balanced instructions. So, we're not going to change anything in regards to that because we will be doing the review for Martinez as well. So, we'll be able to check both of them out as we do the review. So, we'll be using him in the right attacking position as the game progresses. We'll rotate him and then at the end of the video, I'll let you guys know what the card is like in those positions. You know, the same same old same old right so yeah let's get into a game and see how he plays Ooh, dribbling's pretty nice he's pretty stocky in game actually like stockish you know stockish nice little aggressive run there with carlos vela we'll get that angle for that finesse shot we don't score he was kind of like aiming away from goal over there so it's not gonna be that consistent he's also coming off of the ball right ball roll right there but high low work rate's definitely super noticeable in the card right there in regards to you him utilizing empty space i like that vela was constantly moving in that situation like he's obviously a right cam but once he started to transition into the middle he kind of just like played that role afterwards, which is pretty cool. I will say what I'm noticing so far with Vela's card is that um, he's uh, he obviously doesn't feel that responsive in game. Now, obviously, from his base card stats from dribbling, it is actually pretty solid, but he almost feels like a physical type dribbler. So I wouldn't expect this card to move 
with like this like responsive feel like Martinez. Like Martinez's card, we're doing the review at the same time for him, obviously. Um, that card dribbles really nicely. Carlos Vela doesn't really um, give that feeling to me. Like he feels more like a physical dribbler, which obviously I prefer to not have for my attackers. You want them to be as responsive as possible. Um, which is why I give chemistry, that's, this is the reason why I give Sniper Chemistry Styles the most cards, because there's just some cards where you can give them, I don't know what this guy's doing, there's just some cards you can give like 99 uh, dribbling to in all of the stats, but because of their body type, because of their like base characteristics, uh, they just like transfer over to the upgraded versions of the cards anyways, and then they end up being like pretty generic. Um, Carlos Vela is definitely usable so far, but he's not really like on that level like Martinez, I would say, in regards to the way that he feels in game, you know? We are gonna keep experimenting with it though, because it could just be early thoughts. So we're gonna we're gonna just keep playing because it's the gameplay could be affecting it as well. A couple things, right? His off the ball movement in the right attacking position, he does cut inside sometimes, but I've been taking a few finesse shots with him, and to be honest with you guys, like I'm I'm not really feeling it so far. I don't know. It's it's not giving me those vibes right now. Um, I am going to keep using it, though, because sometimes you just have to kind of like adjust to the player a little bit. Since Martinez can play on the sides, we'll just do that. Um, we're going to try out Vela in the cam position this time, and we'll see how he plays there. Because those traits, man, they're so nice. So maybe I'm just not getting the right angles for the finesse shots or something. I don't know. We have to keep trying. How does he move over here? Hmm... Uh, I mean, I, I can't use them in the cam spot, because cam spots, you can... I know it's just, like, one movement, guys, but I'm telling you guys, like, when you play this game enough, there's, like, very linear movements that if your players just don't do, it's, like, not ideal. That was a really nice drag back, though. Good movement. Oh, could have scored that opportunity there, actually. That would have been decent. Defensive play, super aggressive there as well, which is nice. We'll do a fake shot stop again. Try a cross goal. A pretty decent shot in all fairness. He's coming off of like the, the touch right there. I would have had to have... Um, in that situation, I would have to take one more settled shot for him to be good. But uh, I'm not too impressed with this card so far, guys. Like I, I definitely feel like he's usable for sure, but he's not like amazing me, especially with the traits that he has, right? There we go. Nice little goal right there with Neymar getting into the position really nicely. I can't use this car in the cam spot. It's the high-low work rates, I think, that's affecting me from liking the card. I, I don't know. He's a... Uh, he's a strange one so far. I want to try him out in the right attacking position again, though. I think that's the only spot you can really strictly test him out. And maybe the striker position, too, with the high-low work rates. We're going to try that as afterwards, too. Hmm... He honestly didn't really do anything to offer any sort of good attacking presence right there. The fact that he didn't cut inside, Neymar always does it. In those situations, Neymar's just like, yo, my dude, I will give you that attacking run. The fact that Carlos Vela didn't do it right there really annoyed me. Okay, he does a cut inside run right here. Pretty solid. Let's try a long shot from here. Oh! He did a dipping one right there. Okay, Carlos Vela, relax. Yeah, his uh, his dribbling should feel significantly better. It doesn't, man. He's a little bit stockish in game, so that could be affecting his dribbling a little bit. His off-the-ball movement is also not a personal preference of mine. It could be for you, but... I mean, look at that Martinez card just moving. Any position I put him in, he's just doing really well. Like, even when I put him on the sides, he played better than Vela. Come on, Vela. Use that finesse shot of yours. It's weird because he has high-low work rates, but it's not like he, it doesn't feel like he's really, like, utilizing it that much. That was so weird that it didn't do a finesse shot right there. Oh, well, at least he makes that run that he should be making, to be honest. There you go. That's the finesse shot we're looking for. Ball roll, get it on his strong foot, score that opportunity. I mean, the only thing that I'm noticing with this card is that he's doing the runs that he should be doing, but he's not really offering much 
to me in the attacking third when I'm trying to see if he's going to do something crazy for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, I don't know. I definitely don't like him in the cam spot. In the right attacking position, he's not really doing it for me either. I, I'm doing a, I'm doing a pretty decent job of dribbling with him, but you could see like those animation choices that he has. It's screwing the card, you know. Oh, got the dribbles off right there, guys. I'm telling you this right now, man. Uh, I'm really, I'm really, really not feeling this Carlos Vela card. Like this might be an unpopular opinion, but you guys know I give it regardless. I'm really. He's not doing it for me, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Some cards are just like this, right? Like, there's some cards that people like that I just personally don't like. It's, there's something that's just throwing me off about the card. Like, Martinez, I like Martinez. But this card, I don't know, man. Nice goal right there. Yeah, dudes, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the review, though, man. I he's disappointing. Me. He's a, he's a, he's disappointing, man. To be honest with you. All right, guys. So final verdict on the Carlos Vela card is uh, for me personally, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of him. Like with Pozuelo, when I was reviewing that card, I was like, you know what? This guy's actually usable. He's fun to play with in game. I literally did not get that with Vela at all, right? Like because Pozuelo's five star weak foot finesse felt better than me shooting with Carlos Vela's left foot on the finesse shot, you know? And again, this could be because of a gameplay situation as well. It could have been affecting him. But guys, players need to play well in any gameplay you play. And I try to str like strictly say that to people constantly because it's very, very important. I really felt like Carlos Vela didn't offer anything to me. Maybe it was because of his high-low work rates. I didn't like his off-the-ball movement on the sides, uh, even in the cam position. I didn't even bother playing him up top. Because I didn't like his dribbling. It felt really like heavy-ish from certain situations where I thought he would be more responsive, right? And it is EA's fault in regards to how these players feel in this game in regards to gameplay and whatnot. But I give my opinion the way I give my opinion with these cards. I personally didn't like it. That's my review for the card. Um, I don't think it's anywhere even near worth the price that he is either. Even with the fantastic traits that he has on the card. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, uh, video today. I will catch you guys for whatever it is the release tomorrow. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.